Good morning. Good morning, Sebastian. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm very happy to be invited as a, as a speaker today in the frame of uh, this conference. Uh, my name is Julien Castellan, and I'm uh, coordinating a, a Master of Science and Engineering program in uh, the field of uh, polluted science management. And I'd be very glad uh, in the next couple of minutes to introduce you to this program and its links with the uh, uh, professional field in polluted sites uh, management. So maybe starting by introducing a little bit uh, who we are. Um, I like to say to uh, my students that when they will study in Lille, they will also have the opportunity to discover Europe. So yes, we are located in Lille, north of France. Uh, you might you might know um, we have the chance to be uh, at the heart of Europe, let's say, uh, with uh, four main uh, capital cities uh, really close to uh, really close to us. I've also indicated Warsaw in this uh, in this map a little bit far, but still I think uh, feasible for students who would like to uh, to enjoy to visit um, Poland. Um, Lille, it's uh, it's the fourth uh, metropolis in France with, as you can see, a little bit more than one million inhabitants. And uh, we are a very dynamic city. Uh, we are the third student city in uh, in France with a little bit more than one uh, one hundred fifty uh, thousand students. Um, we are junior, uh, we are a school of science and engineering, and we are uh, a member of Lille Catholic University, which is the largest private university in France. So we are in a very large campus in the city center of Lille. We are in a very dynamic ecosystem, as you can see, with a little bit less than uh, 40,000 students. And uh, it's very multicultural, as you can see. We have uh, a little bit more uh, than 5,000 students this year um, and as you can see, a lot of different academic programs in a lot of different fields. Uh, to focus now a little bit more on Junia itself, the so Junia is a school of science and engineering. And here you can see the main uh, key figures about us. Um, 5,000 students, 185 teachers, researchers, doctoral students, as you can see. And you can also see some nice pictures here on the right. Uh, as we are currently in a quite important real estate project uh, with a lot of uh, buildings being renovated and, and, and reconstructed. Um, our ambition is to be a, a leading actor in the, in the world of transitions. So our research and training programs are aligned with four major transitions. And the one that will be mainly of interest for us today is to nourish and take care of the, pro of the planet. Um, at Junia, we have three main science groups uh, corresponding to 36 specialization programs. As you can see, uh, programs related more to mechanical design, uh, public work building, mechatronics, robotics, etc. at HEI. At ESEN, it's more uh, related to digital transition. Uh, we have programs in embedded electronics, mobile robotics, bio nanotechs, etc. And at ESA, uh, which stands for Institut Supérieur d'Agriculture, so Higher Institute of Agriculture, uh, we like to say that we train engineers for the earth. You can see that we have several programs. Some of these are taught in French and some of these are taught in English. And among these ones, um, the program in sustainable management of pollution. pollution. So we deliver a Master of Science and Engineering, uh, which we call Diplôme d'Ingénieur, uh, en France, in France. So aligned with those uh, transitions and these topics, we have uh, four main domains of research, as you can see. And uh, within one of these domain, we have a, a research team uh, working on management of contaminated land, and especially with trace metal elements, um, with a focus on how to produce uh, and how to valorize biomass on contaminated, on contaminated soil. So this research team is very much linked with the training program in sustainable management of pollution. And this is the program I'm going to uh, introduce you uh, now. With a little bit of a story, we haven't started from scratch. Uh, actually, we've uh, started from an Erasmus intensive program that was hosted by ESA uh, for a little bit less than 15 uh, years involving 15 partner universities in Europe. So basically we've scaled up 
uh, this Erasmus intensive program, which was called Pollution in Europe, we've scaled up this program to create a Master of Science. Uh, and finally, Master of Science and Engineering. And as you can see in total, a little bit less than 100 students uh, have been uh, graduated from this program uh, from in total uh, 16 uh, different nationalities. Um, basically, the program is designed, as you can see, to train uh, future managers, engineers, scientists to uh, gain technical expertise in the management of pollution, in the sustainable management of pollution, with this international view, international context. So the students will uh, get skills in the prevention uh, of soil water pollution, uh, on the management of those pollutions, on the management and the treatment of sites contaminated by um, human activities. Um, the idea is really to give the students the necessary tools to be able to deal with polluted sites, uh, with pollution in, in general. And uh, this slide, I really liked it, although you might find it not very uh, nice, um, but it's to show that the course organization is very logic. So in during the first year, and especially the first semester here, we will firstly introduce the source of pollution, uh, the pollutants themselves, where they're coming from. Uh, when you know about that, then you can uh, move on to how they behave uh, in the environment, what is their fate in the environment. And then you can move on to, okay, what, what kind of risks uh, they will pose to the environment, what kind of risk they will pose to human health. And this is roughly the program of the first year. And then the second year is really, really uh, dedicated to the remediation, uh, how to remediate soil, groundwater, surface water uh, that, ha that, are, that, has contaminated, that are contaminated sorry, by uh, pollutants. So of course, we focus on the different kind of techniques available, the physical chemical techniques, biological techniques, etc. Uh, and moving on to also a little bit of ecological restoration, landscape management. So this is the program for the second year. Um, so roughly key elements of the program, the links with the professional network. This is the, the focus I will propose you now, uh, the international experience and uh, the fact that you will learn by doing. But yes, if we want to focus on the links with the professional network, definitely this program is very much in touch with professional network. First of all, through uh, the different lectures um, that are given by professional experts from a lot of different companies. To give you an example, during the Master 2, 80% uh, of the program is taught by professional, by people working in consultancy, in remediation companies, in R&D. It could be done face-to-face, -face, it could be done through uh, webinars, it could be done online, there are different ways. But as you can see, these are some examples, uh, some you might know about, uh, some examples of uh, companies uh, that are involved in, uh, in the program. So as you can see, it's quite, it's quite important. Um, uh, we really like also to, um, to, to give the students uh, real case studies and real projects. So the, the companies we're in touch with will also come and propose uh, some real projects, some serious games. The, the aim is really for the students to act as future project engineer in that field. So for example, in the first year, uh, we have a, um, a module on soil quality investigation and uh, the students are asked to build the best financial and technical proposal to the client needs uh, and to win the contract. So they are in competition, they are in different groups, they are playing the role of um, several consultancy companies and they will try to defend their option, their program, uh, like it's being done in uh, a real consultancy companies. Uh, in Master 2, for example, we have a project uh, on remediation strategies. Once again, the students are in competition, they are in different groups and they have to propose and to defend in front of uh, experts what would be the best remediation strategy for a contaminated site. Uh, they have of course, to choose the best technique and to defend what could be the best technique, taking into consideration different parameters like, of course, the, the, the pollutants, uh, of course, themselves, but also the environmental context, remediation objectives, organizational criteria, site-specific criteria, etc., etc., like it's being done in the real, in the real life. 
Um, the links with professional network also uh, through a lot of field visits. So for every module of the program, we are bringing the students on field. As you can see here with some pictures, we really like to bring them on the field and to meet uh, the, the, the companies to uh, see with their own eyes uh, treatments that are being done on site, in situ, but also on some treatment facilities that we can, uh, that we can visit. Uh, we are uh, lucky enough to be close to uh, uh, Belgium and the Netherlands, and it's also interesting to see what kind of solution, what kind of treatment they can propose to contaminated soils, uh, what kind of in-situ remediation uh, projects they can, uh, they can put into, into place. So, yes, as you can see here uh, on, on, some, uh, on some pictures. Um, this is true for every module of the program. We have modules on ecological restoration, on alternative use of polluted sites, and you can see that, yes, we are going on the field and it's usually very nice moments for the, for the students uh, to learn and to, um, to be in contact with, uh, with, with companies. Um, the students are also uh, uh, lucky uh, every year. We try to uh, bring them to professional congress, workshops, different kind of fairs. Um, not as tourists though, because we are really encouraging them and we are asking them to be active and involved in those conferences and those fairs through different ways. And participants are usually really happy to get in touch with maybe what would be future colleagues. Uh, and the students usually bring their own perspective, their own questions. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's usually a very, uh, very enriching uh, for both uh, professional and, and, and students. And of course, Yes, the best way to get exposed and develop their network. So this is some pictures here of the uh, the different um, affairs and uh, conferences we've um, attended over the last years. Uh, the most recent one was last year uh, in Polytech in Paris. Um, of course, we have in uh, the program some internships to be carried out. So the students have to perform internships. There are two internships to be carried out. Of course, it's a really good way to get immersed in the corporate world. As you can see, two to three months master one, six months master two. Uh, and we are really happy to have a really good employment rate right after, right after internship. The links with professional network is also at larger scale, at junior scale, because we have some tools like the Career Center and also the Alumni Network of Junior, uh, corresponding to the three uh, College of Science that we have, with a little bit more than now 28,000 alumni. So, of course, not all, not all of them in the field of polluted science management, but some of them. And yes, some of them, uh, they are located here. Uh, uh, it's been now nine years since we've started the program, so seven years that we've been uh, graduated students. And uh, it's very uh, gratifying and satisfying to realize that they easily find their way uh, in this field, as you can see in consultancy, remediation companies, public bodies. So it's already a lot of links, but I'm definitely uh, and constantly looking for more partners. So yes, let's get in touch. Uh, from the list of speakers here and maybe from the attendees, uh, people from consultancy, remediation, professional organization, let's get in touch, definitely. You can be, you could be involved as a, a guest lecturer on a specific technique, um, innovation in, in, in the field, in your field. You could be an internship tutor uh, for our master one or master two students. Um, you could provide projects for our students or maybe more, so definitely. I would be really pleased to uh, get in touch with you. So here are my contacts. You've got my email, my LinkedIn account, and Instagram is more for uh, pictures if you want to see a little bit what we are doing on the field. Um, so this is the end of my presentation. I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Uh, merci de votre attention, and I'll be really uh, happy to um, maybe answer your questions.